Fat and Full TV. If you're new here, I'm Monica, and together with my daughter, Alora, who's behind the camera today. Hello. <laughs> we make videos to share with everyone how we make our quilt as you go quilts. So this is the final episode of our Island Home Quilt. So this was our Quilt As You Go Masterclass, or it is our Quilt As You Go Masterclass, where we have made one quilt that is made with six different Quilt As You Go techniques. Now we have promised a seventh technique, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to add a border around our tiger applique using the final border technique and we were filming that today and I cut all of my strips wrong and it turned into a bit of a disaster so mm -hmm. that is now going to be a blog post so if you want just sign up to our newsletter and you'll receive an email with the blog post when it's ready so it should only be a couple of days so don't stress about that but in today's video I'm going to show you how we do our final border using the easy border technique and then we're going to bind the quilt and then we're finished. So I hope that you've all enjoyed it. We've enjoyed it, it's been a lot of fun. It's just been so, like such a mammoth effort to put together so many different quilt to go techniques in one quilt. And let's just have a quick run through of what we've actually done before we get going with putting the final border and binding on the quilt. So method number one is quilt as you go with sashing. So we showed how to put the sashing in between these pinwheel blocks here. And then the next method we did is the quilt as you go with no sashing and we machine sewed that onto the back. We then went on to quilt as you go without sashing again, but this time we showed how you would join blocks together. If you wanted to make a patchwork quilt, using a method that has no sashing or no interruption in between the blocks. So a bit of hand stitching on that one. After that, we then moved on to doing the one to three technique and we've used the one to three technique quite a bit in this quilt. So that's another no sashing technique. And we do machine sew the back of that. You can hand sew if you like, but we do show really great techniques on how you can um, machine sew the back down. Then the next technique from there is we did the good old joining strip technique. This is a technique that's been around for a long time. We also did the cover strip technique on our blocks down here. So that's where, as the name says, you have a strip that covers the raw seams. So that's five techniques. And now we're going to move on to the final one, which is the easy quilt as you go border technique. It's just a thin border that goes around the edge of the quilt. But I wanted to do that because I just didn't want the quilt to finish you know, right on the edge of the blocks. We've got a lot of background here and I wanted it to look as though all of our piecing and applique is kind of floating on top of our beautiful background fabric. So we have done a video before on the easy border technique and you may remember that. We did that on our Fifi Flamingo so you can go back and check that one out if you want to, you know, see me doing, doing that again. So that's not all we've done in this course. We have covered everything from accurate piecing to applique, from quilting, we've explored glue basting, how to line up seams with pin tricks. It's just been absolutely endless. And if you've joined in with the course, you should have a great big folder of course notes. And all of that information is great information that you can always refer back to in future when you are making your own quilt as you go quilt. So that's what this course has been about, empowering you to be able to make your own quilt as you go quilts and learning all the different techniques and also working out what your favorite techniques are. So that also helps. And it is just great to be able to make your own quilt yourself from start to finish. Now, if you missed out on the course this time, we're going to do it again, starting in October, 2022. And if you like to sew along with people, it's a lot of fun. You can either join our private Facebook group and sew with everybody, share photos of your work, or if you like to work on your own, you know, totally fine. Just however you want to do it, the, the course is there to suit everybody. You can either pay the one upfront fee and join the private Facebook group or pay as you go. So all the course notes are $10 each. And as I said, they've got detailed instructions with step by step photos all the way through so you pretty much can't go wrong. So the easy quilt as you go border technique, it's a really simple technique and it's a lot of fun and all you have to do is just keep adding borders around the edge of your quilt so you can make your quilt any size by just continuing on by adding the borders around the edge. But look this isn't the only way to do borders so using any of the techniques that I've shown you all you have to do is make your border whatever size or width that you want it to be and as many as you like. And any of the techniques that I've shown you, you can use those techniques to join your borders on. And if you're not sure how much fabric, 
don't go to all the trouble of working it out. Just go and get the Robert Kaufman app. It's amazing. You just put in the size of the borders that you want, how many borders you want, the size of your quilt, and then it will work out for you the amount of fabric that you need to go and buy. So it's really easy. So let's get started with what we're going to talk about today, which is the easy quilter to go borders. So this is how you finish off your quilt. Grab those 63 or approximately 63 inch lengths of fabric of your backing and your background fabric and cut strips. So we're just going to cut strips lengthwise. They're an inch and a half wide and you'll need four for the front and four for the back. And I haven't mentioned before that when you're doing borders, it is a lot better to cut your strips down the length of the fabric because this fabric is quite solid, doesn't have stretch and it does stabilize the edge of your quilt. Having said that, it's not always possible to be able to cut your strips down the fabric because it does take a lot more fabric and it is a lot more expensive. So if you do have to do joins, all you have to do is you can either join them on the 45 degree um, angle, which we'll show in the binding in a minute, or you can just join them straight joins. It's totally up to you how you want to join the borders together. I do make sure, or border strips, I do make sure that I stagger those joins. I don't make sure that they're all in the same place on the borders. So cut your strips. Then the next thing you need to do is cut some strips of batting. So make those strips of batting just about a quarter of an inch narrower. So an inch and a quarter wide. By the way, all of these instructions are in the course notes. And then take one front strip and put it right sides together with the front. Take one back strip, put it right sides together with the back and then pin all of those layers together. I have in the past used glue basting to glue baste the back strip on, but this time I'm just pinning them all together. I always like to try something a little bit different. And then sew the seam. So we're just gonna work on one side edge first of all, and sew the seam with a quarter inch seam allowance. Once you've done that, press the strips out to the front. So make sure that they're really well pressed. So I like to press the back strip first and then I'll press the front. Make sure that there's no creases in those seams. Then all you have to do is take your strip of batting and slip it in between the backing and the top fabric, making sure that it really butts up nicely against the edge of the seam allowance. And then just put a few pins in place just to hold it all together. Now, rather than using batting seam tape or batting joining tape or hand stitching it, we're just going to top stitch just like what we've done before and make that top stitch about three eighths of an inch away from the edge of the seam. And that's just going to catch in the edge of the batting. So I just like to use my standard foot or you can use your open toe foot, but just a foot that gives you a distance of three eighths of an inch or one centimeter away from the edge to the needle. Now go ahead and sew your border strip onto the other side of the quilt. Once your side borders are sewn on, you can now trim them level with the top and bottom edges of the quilt and just sew on the top border and the bottom border in the same way. And this time you're just starting them, you know, on the edge of your side borders. So they're going all the way across from edge to edge. And then once again, slipping in the batting, quilting, and then when you finish, come back and trim away the excess batting just so that it's going to be level with the edges of the quilt and also trimming off the border. So all edges are nice and level. We're just gonna pop in a bit of a montage so that you can see how I handle the quilt as it starts to grow.
Now the next step from there is to sew on the binding. We just used a binding that's the same color as our background fabric. We wanted to keep it really simple. Alora's going to have this quilt and she wants to hang it on a wall and she didn't want any more interruptions. She just wanted to keep it, as I said, nice and simple. But if you want to frame your quilt with the binding, you may want to choose one of the darker colors in the quilt and you can either choose like a plain or a mottle or a tiny spot just to frame and go around the edge of the quilt. So just pick out your favorite color that you like. So the requirements are in the course notes and all you have to do is cut six strips. So I cut six strips. If your fabric's a little bit narrower than 41 inches wide, you may need to cut more strips. And with a quilt as you go quilt, because all of our um, edges are level, I like to cut my binding three inches wide. So I cut my strips three inches wide and then I join them all together end to end on a 45 degree angle. That's where you take one strip and you have it horizontal with the right side facing up. Then you take another strip and you put it vertical with the right side facing down. And then all you have to do is just mark a diagonal line from the top left corner to the outer right bottom corner. You can mark a line and then you just sew on that line, trim away the seam allowance so you have a quarter inch seam allowance, press the seam open. So join all of your strips together like that. And then the next step is to just fold them in half lengthwise with the wrong sides facing. So we have our binding all ready to sew onto the quilt. When I sew the binding onto the quilt, I sew it onto the front and I take a 3 8 of an inch or one centimeter seam allowance. So you can either use like your walking foot to do that or just a standard foot. I sew the binding all the way around the edge of the quilt. I actually like to start with a mitre. So I, I cut a 40, 45 degree angle to begin with and I start sewing about seven inches away from the point of the mitre, sewing in like a non-obvious place, say, down on the bottom, you know, near the bottom edge on the side. And I sew all the way around the edge. So I just make a mitre on the corner, just the way you do a traditional patchwork. So all of the photos are in the course notes if you haven't done this before. So the binding all the way around the edge, I like to join it together on a mitre. As I said, it's a bit tricky to show now. So it's all in the course notes. So once you've sewn the binding all the way around the edge of the quilt, it's just a matter of, I like to press the binding out away from the quilt. You can then fold it over and hand stitch it. So the folded edge of the binding will meet the stitching line. So you can just like hand stitch that if you want to. I like to machine sew mine. So I do go to a lot of preparation to um, fold my binding over so that it just covers the stitching line on the back. I glue baste it in place and then I pin in the ditch. So from the front of my quilt, I pin in the ditch, I check that the pins have caught in the folded edge of the binding. I do that all the way around the edge of my quilt and then I come back and just stitch in the ditch of the binding seam on the front of the quilt. And that's how I finish my quilt off. So that's how we finished our quilt off. We are so excited to have it finished. Now, if you've been joining in and making the quilt, please let us see your photos. So send us an email with your photos and we're going to do a blog post with everybody's quilt so that we can show everybody your work so you can show off to everybody. We are so proud of you all, the work that we're seeing and all of the different fabric choices. It's just been fantastic. So if you enjoyed this course, don't forget to let all your friends know that they can watch all the videos on YouTube for free. And if they want to purchase the course notes, we'd love to have them join us either in the Facebook group or just working along on in at their own pace. And have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? <laughs> Um, we're almost at 50,000 and we want to thank everyone so much and I'm taking a bit of time off now because I'm going to write a quilt as you go book so um, if you miss us and you miss me you can keep watching all of our videos we have so many on YouTube now and uh, we love making the videos but it's time to have a little bit of a break and don't forget to check out um, my blog post which is coming out soon and I'm going to show you another way that you can do a quilt as you go border and it's got the faux mitered corners on it would have been today except I cut everything wrong <laughs> <laughs> but that's the way things go nobody's perfect so thank you all so much for watching and thanks for joining in the course we love you guys and as I said if you enjoy our videos share them to a friend thanks everyone bye say bye Laura bye <laughs>